Now back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us today. We've got in the studio one of our favorite folks, Daryl Stern. He's going to help us understand a little more about how to get ROI from social media. Well, I'll tell you what, when it comes to social media, I think we all have maybe one that we're kind of familiar with, but most of the time there's so many new platforms coming on board, we can't keep up. Don't you wish you had an expert on hand where you could ask him anything about Snapchat, about Instagram, about all of the different ROI or marketing tools, online platforms that there are, and he actually is an expert, he's using them, and today his expertise, we're going to focus on Instagram. You can follow him at Instagram.com slash Stern DMB. Daryl, welcome. Welcome. Hi. Thanks for having me again. Right. I'm looking at this Instagram page of yours and I'm blown away when you say that Instagram is actually more, what did you say? It's more connected. It's the most engaging, engaged, um, has the highest engagement rate. In really? other words, per follower, more than Facebook, more than Facebook, which is wow. hard, which is difficult to believe, but it actually is. And I think it has mo- more, a lot to do with the fact that it's a visual platform. Mm-hmm. It's very visually engaging. Well, and especially on your phone, it's very easy to to like some you know to to click something like something comment on something uh, and if it's done right the messaging that you're putting out there is visually powerful a picture says a thousand words so so Daryl is, is it, the reason yes. that it's it's so engaging is that because there's only a couple things you can do you can you you can like it like clicking the heart mm-hmm. right and you can uh, uh, comment on it and that's about all you can do with it right. Well, there's a few new things coming out now. Okay. For, you can actually uh, record a video and post a video up to um, Instagram. You can actually re- pre-record and do an entire post-production on a video and get it right up onto Instagram. And now Instagram, to take on Snapchat, has created stories, which are kind of similar to Snapchat. They're a little bit different. They have some of the same features where you can record, again, your clips that then turn into a longer story, a video story of you that then again disappears in 24 hours. So there's actually a lot of- It disappears? Yes. Why would you create something that disappears? Well, it creates urgency. In other words, if you're following someone and you want to keep up on what they're doing, you have to check in with them once a day or else they, you know, or else what they're doing disappears. Okay. All right. So So, Instagram, Yes. right? We're going to focus on Instagram today. There's lots and he is truly the expert at all of these online platforms, using it, getting people to follow, engaging with. And I think that this is, Daryl, we only think, okay, I'm just using it to get my name out there. Just some brand recognition. You're actually getting some real engagement from using Instagram. Well, is that, I, I don't like the word, you know, just engagement. I, I like to word, use the word ROI because if you carry engagement through to a real conversation with someone that then becomes an ally or a client or a potential, you know, vendor partner, then you're actually getting ROI out of using the social media platform. And any business isn't going to invest in something too long if there isn't, you know, some sort of return on their investment. So a couple of things. One is create your own original content. In other words, a lot of people are putting out uh, memes of famous quotes, let's just say, of other people, of other inspiring things that they've seen and all of that. Well, you have a brand, you have a story to tell, you have a message that's unique to you, so tell your own story. I mean, yes, it's good to associate yourself with other things, you know, other popular things, but it's good to tell your own story and have your own quotes about what you think about your industry or your business or your product. How easy is it to make all of these? I'm looking at some of your your pictures, your memes. Yeah. They are so timely. They are exactly your brand, exactly your messaging, and yet you've tied it into trends that are going on right now. How easy is it? is it to create these? Well, we sit down, me and my staff, and we sit down and we brainstorm up what our next campaign will be. So we did one for um, uh, Halloween for Snapchat, which was don't be afraid of the ghost. Uh, don't you know? Don't think that the people out there are zombies. You can actually bring people in and, and um, yeah, spare, attract Generation spare Z. Spare your and all competition that. with a killer Snapchat marketing strategy. 
Uh, yeah, they're, they're very creative. Yeah, very and, creative. And Don't be an alien to your customer. Yeah, so we write out the idea first, and then we have talented graphic artists, uh, one in particular on staff, who's who's doing this, who's creating these things. So then, here, so here's the trick of it. Okay, great. So you're putting out these pictures. A lot of people then, you, you have to do hashtag research. Now, hold on. The hashtag research is, is searching in Instagram and figuring out which hashtags are popular and which hashtags people are using. But what we want to do beyond that is actually tell a story. So I love writing dramatic scripts and poetry and the, sure. these type of things. So we actually write out a whole narrative to go with the picture that is in plain English, you know, is readable, and then actually has these particular words hashtagged in throughout it. Daryl, how does this turn into a return on investment for, for, for somebody? A couple of things. So you can't put a link like a URL into an Instagram post, right? right? And a lot of people do that and their links don't work. Their links don't work at all. But you can change periodically the link in your um, profile of your Instagram whole, you know, setup of your yeah. Instagram account. So I let's did, say I did that today. So let's say you're running a particular event coming up or you're announcing a new product, you know, if you have a whole different product line and one week you want to showcase this one product where you can change the link to that particular product. Let's say you're running an e-commerce store, or you're having an event or something new is going on in your business or you launch a new blog, you want right. to do a whole set of memes and that. You can change. And then in the Instagram post, you literally just put link in profile. So when they see that and they go, oh, well, where is it? They can go there and click on the link in the profile, which is just a few, you know, thumb clicks right. away, right. you know, on your phone and all that. So you can change up. Like right now, we're doing our thing about Instagram and we're combining the election, you know, that's coming up tomorrow with our Instagram and we're doing a whole campaign on vote ROI and then it doesn't matter, you know, what's going to happen with this election. Your business is still the most important thing and you need to keep growing it and keep working on it and keep looking looking for ways to generate, you know, more business for you. So right now our link and our profile is going right to our Instagram strategy page to have people hopefully on your website, on my website, right. To hopefully have people then sign up with us to help them with Instagram and other platforms. Before that, we had a whole campaign about, um, and on Halloween about Snapchat right. and about not being, so then we changed our link to that. Which coincidentally Snapchat has a ghost kind of a logo exactly yeah. so we had a lot of fun with hey don't sure. be fr don't be afraid of the ghost you know yeah. the snapchat ghost and all that kind of thing all right so right now so then also we love to combine pop culture with what we do with our brand so i like this thing called star wars a little bit just a little bit <clears throat> of a star wars a fan. little bit so we do we do so i love to combine the ethics of star wars with my brand so we had one with two lightsabers you know crossed together and we put um do or do not there is no try it's hashtag get stern in our, famous in our quote from uh, yoda from yoda yeah. yes do or do not yes there is no try but there he was so, so that's part of the the ethics of our business is that we're not just going to try you know to help you with you might generate roi you know through media marketing we're actually going to do it and wow. set a goal to do it and get it done so with that though we're then able to bring in hashtags and and mentions too which are important just like twitter we actually put at star wars instead of just hashtag star wars to bring more people you know to us and paying attention to because us. you use when you use those mentions the at star wars or the hashtags star wars and whatnot mm -hmm. then you are appealing to a much larger base larger base uh, you are appealing to a larger base right yeah. so if your product is similar to something else or goes along the branding of something else that's out there people see that i mean if you, if you're if you like star wars and you're selling something that has to do in that sci-fi area you invented right. a new laser for your b2b manufacturing business and it looks like the lightsaber or something like that you can combine the two and get, get even more attention for yourself then you go on when you get these comments again you reply to them you can follow you back the people to the to, comments how's that for a strategy right well you can well then you can actually follow back the people and then you can message them it has a messenger just like a Facebook messenger where then you can actually tell them hey you know I'm glad you like that if you would like to you know schedule a call with us or you know we would love to work with you on this you know let's continue the conversation this is one of the most valuable pieces of working with Daryl it's the beef it's every step of the way so it's not just what are we gonna post we're gonna do two posts today and it's gonna kind of look like this but then what happens 
and what do we do and how do we interact and how do we engage with people and continue that conversation and put a little oomph. And so it's very attractive. It's it's engaging and, and interesting. It's not just facts and figures, right? It's very interesting information that people are looking for that they are attracted to on social media sites and then actually turning that into taking them through your sales process, which is where most people miss out. Daryl, quickly, uh, your contact information, please. Sure, you can go to sterndmb.com or call us at 303-353-4354. sterndmb.com, no matter where you are in the country, people are online looking for you. We're going to post his Instagram strategy on our Facebook page. We'll be back with more positive business talk right after these messages.